<laughs> You're so weird, Zell. I prefer to think of myself as creatively different. No, Jay's right. You're just weird. I can't believe you painted the board too. What is it with you in purple? It's just my colour. Right, so I'm guessing you're going to make me play as blue again? We've never played Ludo before, at least not as a group. So how can it be making you play as blue again? Sly, why did you pick the green pieces? Because I'm always green? Yeah, I know. But why? Because that's the colour I'm always given. Seriously, it took you guys this long to notice? No, I noticed when I always end up going first when we play Ludo. I thought it was weird till I noticed you were the one who always set everything up. I didn't say anything because I like going first. I think I first noticed it when Zell would always talk us out of playing any board games that didn't have purple as a playable piece. Red, blue and green are a lot more common. But I didn't say anything because it means we play Cluedo a lot. I'm good at Cluedo. Even if it would be nice to play as someone other than Mrs. Peacock once in a while. You shouldn't look at it as playing as Mrs. Peacock. You should look at it as playing as the blue piece. I guess I didn't notice because I would have chosen green anyway. Argyle playing green and I like Argyle. Did you know Dad used to play for them before Matthew was born and they moved to Never Aiton? Yeah, I think you and your brothers have mentioned it a few times. I think I would have chosen red anyway too. I mean, it's not my favourite colour, but it is my favourite out of the choices you usually get. So, blue is my favourite. That doesn't mean you're not still weird for picking for everyone. But maybe I'm a little weird, it just means I'm a little different. And, as your mum always says, there's nothing wrong with being different. <laughs>